One of my favorites, which is so well known to everybody, is A Mighty Fortress is Our God, because I believe it was the battle hymn of the Reformation. And one of the aspects of A Mighty Fortress is Our God, written by Luther, of course, uh, and, and when it was written by Luther about 12 years after he nailed his thesis to uh, the Wittenberg church door, uh, he was being held up in a fortress, of course, uh, being kept uh, by his friends from actually being arrested and probably killed. And when he did that, there's a powerful verse that one little word shall fell him, the enemy. The enemy, uh, that uh, hymn is, uh, so exalts Christ and his power against the enemy. And of course, the kingdom of God is forever. So I, I, that hymn is a, a powerful hymn of victory for the kingdom of God. Another later hymn that I think is, gives me great hope uh, was written actually in the early 1900s. This is my father's world. Though the wrong uh, seems off so strong, God is the ruler yet. And even though everything is separated now, Jesus will have his ultimate victory and bringing all things back. I think of uh, Ephesians chapter 1 and Ephesians chapter 3 when I sing that hymn. Uh, so I think it's interesting that the hymn writers of the 1700s, and we can talk about the Isaac Watts and, uh, um, and, and Billings and, and many of the tremendous uh, hymn writers of the American Revolution. Uh, one of my favorites is Chester in the American Revolution, a tremendous song that talks about New England's God being victor. But I think all through this, the, the Reformation truths have found their way in many hymns, even hymns that are later on. Now we know there are some hymns that, are, uh, that uh, emphasize a bit more of the frailty of humanity and, and whatnot, and that's okay as long as the exaltation of Christ is there. Let tyrants shake their iron rod, and uh, go ahead, let tyrants do that. But we shall praise New England's God, who forever shall have victory. That's just a quick paraphrase, but uh, the words of the original hymn that was sung on the battlefield in the American Revolution, it was called the actual um, uh, national anthem of the American Revolution in New England.